This is Embracing Digital This Week with Darren Pulsifer. This week's top stories. In cybersecurity news, Checkpoint's AI-powered cybersecurity solution offers a game-changing platform with a 98% accuracy rate in detecting malicious activity. The system uses advanced algorithms and predictive analytics to provide businesses with a powerful defense against evolving cyber risks, reinforcing digital security during heightened threats. Cyber attacks on healthcare facilities have surged, causing concerns about patient safety at Liberty Hospital, which has been fighting off an attack for the last two weeks. Robust cybersecurity measures are needed to protect sensitive medical information and ensure uninterrupted healthcare services. This highlights the broader vulnerabilities of critical infrastructure in the face of escalating cyber threats. The NSA's 2023 Cybersecurity Year in Review report offers insights into cyber threats, successful defenses, and emerging trends. The publication emphasizes the agency's commitment to enhancing national cyber resilience and is a valuable resource for industry professionals, policymakers, and the public. It provides a retrospective analysis of the cybersecurity landscape and guides future efforts to strengthen digital security. In artificial intelligence news, MIT researchers have developed algorithms that enable machines to understand contextual nuances in language, promoting more accurate interactions. This breakthrough in natural language processing has potential applications in various fields, bridging the gap between human communication and machine comprehension. MIT's research paves the way for more advanced and context aware AI systems. AI and automation are transforming governments by improving efficiency and agility. This shift towards a digital-first approach reflects a commitment to adapt to the modern era. The impact of these technologies is reshaping governance and providing a more advanced approach to meeting digital challenges. Michael Cohen admits to submitting fake legal documents generated by AI while working for Donald Trump, raising concerns about AI ethics and oversight in the legal system. This highlights the need for vigilant oversight and safeguards to maintain the integrity of legal proceedings. The incident underscores the evolving challenges of AI ethics and integrity in legal processes. In edge computing news, TomTom and Microsoft have partnered to introduce an innovative, generative AI solution for connected vehicles. The technology harnesses advanced algorithms to transform navigation, promising a more intelligent and responsive driving experience. This development signifies a significant step forward in integrating AI into automobiles. Panasonic fights IoT malware by deploying honeypots to detect cyber threats. The company gains valuable insights into evolving malware tactics by creating simulated targets to attract malicious activity, enhancing cybersecurity measures. This proactive approach reflects the growing emphasis on innovative techniques to safeguard connected devices and networks in the face of escalating security challenges. Integrating artificial intelligence, AI, and Internet of Things, IoT technologies is rapidly transforming the agriculture industry. The precision agriculture market is forecasted to reach $5.2 billion by 2027, thanks to the innovative use of IoT, data analytics, and automation in farming. This technology optimizes crop yields, reduces resource consumption, and promotes sustainable and efficient agriculture worldwide. In Embracing Digital Transformation news, this week the Embracing Digital Transformation continues its Embracing Generative AI series, featuring interviews with a college student, Madeline Pulsifer, who shares her journey with Gen AI, followed by a professor's perspective, Laura Newey, on using Gen AI in the classroom. Don't miss these insightful episodes. That's it for Embracing Digital this week. If you've enjoyed this episode, check out our full-length weekly podcast, Embracing Digital Transformation, and check out our website, embracingdigital.org. Until next week, go out and embrace the digital revolution.